Hi there, I'm Eva Jozefkovic. I'm author of The Mystery of the Colour Thief, Girl 38, and my two newest books, The Key to Finding Jack and The Cooking Club Detectives. I'm here today to wish you a super, super wonderful World Book Day. I hope you do lots of reading. I hope you have some really fun activities planned, and I hope you discover a brand new, wonderful book that will take you on a super adventure. All the best. Hello, I'm Malcolm Duffy, wishing you a happy World Book Day. Now, here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know that there are over 140 million books in the world? To get through them all, you'd need to read 2 million books a year or 5,000 books a day. Now, unless you're a very fast reader or you've got a lot of time on your hand, I don't think you're going to manage that. So, which of the 140 million books should you choose? Here's a couple of suggestions for you. One is Me Man, Me Dad, Me, which is about the lengths a young boy will go to to save his man. Another one is Sofa Surfer, which isn't about sofas at all, but about the friendship between a young guy and a homeless girl. And if you've read both of those books by May, you can read this book, which is my new title, Read Between the Lies. But whichever book you choose, have a great time and happy reading. Hello, I'm Michelle Paver, and I wrote the Wolf Brother books. Originally, there were only six, but recently I've written three more. That's Viper's Daughter, Skin Taker, and just lately, Wolfbane. I wrote the Wolf Brother books because they were the kind of stories that I would have loved when I was 10. A boy, a girl, and a wolf battling for survival in the Stone Age, as adventurous as possible. But actually, when I was 10, I didn't so much enjoy reading, although I did, it was more that I needed to read. I was being bullied at school, all my friends ganging up against me. Books became my escape. They became my friends. And the best books felt more real than the real world, which was exactly what I wanted. I've never forgotten that. I've never forgotten that whatever you're feeling, however odd however confused or different from everybody else, there's always a book out there which makes you realise that someone else has experienced what you've experienced, has felt what you've felt. Mostly I think people read for fun and that's exactly as it, how it should be. But sometimes I think we read to feel that we're not alone and it works. Happy reading. Hello, I'm Tanya Unsworth, and for World Book Day, I wanted to tell you to read my book, The Time Traveller and the Tiger. It's why I put on these special tiger ears. But I'm not going to do that, because reading isn't about doing what you're told. It's about reading whatever it is that you want to read. Hard books, easy books, comic books, picture books... Uh, books that take you to far off places uh, or books that just keep you right here at home. Books you're not supposed to read or books that you've read a hundred times before and just want to read again. Books that scare you, books that hold your hand or just those lovely books that keep you giggling all the way through to the last page. It's completely up to you. Have a wonderful World Book Day. Hey, uh, this is um, my really good friend and wonderful writer, Finbar of the Hawkins, author of the wonderful book, Witch. And this is Chris Vick, the author of the incredible book, Girl Boy C. Okay, so, as brief as you can, what's Witch about? Witch is about revenge, magic, drama, sibling rivalry. And sisterly love, I think. And sisterly love. I think yeah. and sisterly love is a big part. Um, this is about a, a girl and a boy, English boy, Moroccan girl, in a boat, in the middle of the Atlantic. It's a survival story, but also she tells him stories from a thousand and one Arabian nights to pass the time. So it's very much about uh, will they survive, but it's also about what stories are and what they do. And we'd really like to wish you all a happy, happy book world book. <laughs> A happy Big world book day. Hello, I my name is Sally Gardner and I am the author of
the Tindims. There's quite a lot of them. And of uh, Tindims of Rubbish Island. And also Mr. Tiger. There's quite a lot of them too. And finally, Invisible in a Bright Light, which I'm very proud of, by the way. And all of them are printed in da -da -lum, da -lum, da -lum, da -lum, dyslexi font, which does make reading a lot easier. And I think the great thing about a book is that you open it up and it's always there for you. It doesn't need electricity. It's always a constant. It's a friend. When I was young, I couldn't read really at all. And I used to have a sort of dream about having an actor in a cupboard that could come out and read to me. And amazingly, today, you can have an actor in a cupboard because there's audio. And so there's no need for you to be left out. And if you're as dyslexic as me, you can belong to the Library for the Blind. And they have a cornucopia of titles and books, which I can't recommend highly enough. But the main thing is to read, because by reading, you discover other worlds and so many things you would never, ever know unless you read about them. So here's wishing you all an enormously happy World Book Day. Bye bye. Hi, everyone, and happy World Book Day. I'm Annalise Gray. I'm the author of the Circus Maximus adventure series set in ancient Rome about a young horse-mad girl who dreams of becoming a charioteer at the Circus Maximus, the greatest sports stadium in the ancient world. I really loved animal stories when I was growing up and one of my favourites was The Sheep Pig by Dick King Smith, which was later made into the brilliant movie Babe about a pig who longs to be a sheepdog. And the person who introduced me to the sheep pig was a lovely man called John Rigiani, who was my English teacher when I was 11 years old. Mr. Rigiani was the most wonderful storyteller and the classes when he would read stories like the sheep pig to us and do different voices for every character are some of my very best memories of school. And he was also a really kind and inspiring teacher who really encouraged me in both my reading and my writing when I was that age. So I really just want to give a huge shout out to all those people, parents, teachers, librarians, booksellers, bloggers, anyone who makes it their job to pass on a love of books and great stories to other people. And I hope you all have a really brilliant and happy World Book Day. Happy World Book Day. My name is Yaba Beidou and I write books. What I love about reading books is that you can take a book wherever you want to go. When I was younger, I used to read under the bed. And then later I discovered that it's all right to read on top of the bed, under the blankets, with a torch, especially if you're reading really creepy horror stories. Now I read in the bath. I wallow in my baths, reading and reading and reading. I want to introduce you to my latest novel, Lionheart Girl, which is a story about a girl called Sheba who lives in a family of witches in West Africa, Ghana. She lives in a village with no name. And at the start of the story, she's rather timid. But as the story proceeds, she realizes she can shapeshift and become a lion. And that when she roars, she has a mighty roar and everyone has to listen to her. Happy World Book Day.